Okay, here we are, League of Legends. Yay. <laughs> that was piss weak, dude. Yeah. Okay, starting off with the Doran's Blade. Fuck, I put the wrong one. Okay, anyways. Ain't nobody got time for this. I'm a giant freaking bear. And I'm a giant fucking man with an axe or whatever. You know what they say. Men with axes are better than bears. Oh, that's, uh, that's actually like that's a rumor spread by man. No, that's so that's I not a rumor, dude. That's a that's an actual fact. You never heard that. Have before? you heard a bear say that though? Cause... Well, bears can't talk, so. Uh, that's what you think, though. No, it's not what I, it's not what I know. Men with axes are better than bears. That's just a given. And like, just bears can't talk. Okay. Agree like, to yeah, disagree. We're not agreeing to disagree. There's nothing to disagree. No. Well, just watch out, cause I'm off the rails in this bear. There are no rails. No rails can hold me, right? Well, there are no rails to hold you. So where does that just, where does that leave eat us? You right now. I don't, you can't, because we're on the same team. So. Uh, what do you think? Oh yeah, that's cool. Just Kha'Zix, S staying back there. That's cool. I play by bear rules, so. Me. I do not tolerate cowardice. What the hell? Noxus. Oh, totally don't agree with the man being both in there, but. That's where you're wrong, isn't it? I know, you see. Just bears is so much better. We'll just bear with me on this one. Oh, good call. Oh, good call. Run back. Well, there are more successful bears in everything than there are successful people. Um, I'm pretty sure that successful people are real things. Like, you don't hear about a successful bear on the daily news. Because there aren't any. There are a lot of successful bears. It's just not a thing, yeah. okay? Stop trying. There's bears on every single show. They're actually like the Illuminati. The bears actually run everything. You're welcome. Totally got you that oh. kill. Oh my god, I think I actually have. I did. I did. I got you that. I was gonna say, what the hell is in there? English, please. Hey, English isn't my first language, okay? Oh, uh, yeah, it is. Oh, what's that? Uh, uh, two kills. Two bear, man zero. Um, pretty sure I took that Tarek down to as low as health as it did. You totally just kill stole it from me. Oh. <sighs> Oh. Like, you know what, whatever, you just what? believe whatever you want. Probably because you're a bear. You don't understand my speech. You don't fucking yeah. know me, okay? You're obviously not all there, but I'm all there. That right, but that was unintentional. By the way. I don't think it was unintentional. You did plan that, like, strategically. Uh, I thought you said bears kind of think that very smart. So... Come on, get on the man. Would... Come on, what are you doing? What are you doing? I would have been playing something. I wouldn't. It's a bear. Help! Help! You cunt! Help! Ah, uh, why don't you call the man police? Because I'm a bear. <laughs> I don't help your kind. You have a giant axe. Oh, we call your axe. It's better than you. Please sound like. I don't think I am actually. Like that's just not how I talk. No. Yeah. Agree to disagree. No. I agree to agree with what I said. Okay. Um. I'm sorry, I love you. I didn't mean to ramp my voice. Okay. Make no mistake. Can't hear you. I'm a bear. What's again? Hey, hey. Want to hear a joke? What? 
I'm walking barefoot. <laughs> that's not a joke. Oh, that's a, that's a pun. Whatever. Well, well, a bad one at that. I'm okay. familiar with bear culture because bears are not rare. But I can't, you know. I go out of my way to try and accept you, man. You at no point try to accept me. You keep shutting me down at every chance you get. Okay? Hey, 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 shut up. Oh, yeah, bear killing spree. Well, I would have gotten away with it too if weren't you meddling kids. Gonna retire by a big blue house and just live out the rest of my days. <sighs> Not all bears live in big blue houses. In fact, I don't think any do. Uh... It's not common practice for a bear to live in a house, okay? I will not rest. Well, it's not just any house. It's a big blue house, Kyle. That, that doesn't change anything. Bears it's don't live blue. in houses. They live in the My woods. What part of adjectives don't you understand, Kyle? I, I don't know what you're doing. What are you do? Why are you speaking? Like, really, what are you doing? What? I don't know, okay? I don't even know. I'm confused. Well, come on, come back. We can totally get these guys. Oh, oh. You hurt my feelings, so... Good. No mistakes. My bad feelings. Your team has destroyed a turret. <laughs> The only thing outside the reach of my claws is humanity. So deep. That wasn't very deep. Dude. I want me to live as a bear. Bears don't live. You're right. They're inanimate objects. <laughs> what? You didn't know that. Oh. Bears aren't actually alive. Yeah, you're right, there is absolutely just, no They're just figments of your imagination, dude. You there's absolutely no difference between a bear and a table. Yeah, pretty much. You didn't know that? Oh. Have you been living under a rock for your life, bro? Hey, what are you even doing? Big. Wait. <sighs> what? Dude, your armor fell off. It's probably not good for you. Oh, dead one. Running now. Run, 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 run. Run, Gordon. This is the policeman. Okay, run again, run again. Stop slowing me. Very nice. Silence. Silence is also not good. Silence is golden. It's a, it's a quote by um, Martin Luther King. That's it, man. That's it. That's, that's another one, yeah. yeah. Yeah, in the words of the um, great outlaw, Ned Kelly, King. yellow swag money. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Michael Jackson's last words before he died of a terrible car accident were, um, they were actually live long and prosper. My oh yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Well, you know, he's not a lot of people know that. They think some people think he actually died from a drug overdose or like they from taking like too many drugs all at one time. But it was actually that he um. <laughs> Fuck! Ah! <laughs> oh. In the words of Kurt Cobain, we will. We will rock you. Um, like, I don't mean like. I don't know if it's famous here. movie. Fuck! It's just out of my range. Just, yeah, Kirk Cobain in Iron Man. Yeah. Yeah, he was like. He was with, with Nicolas Cage, right? Nicolas Cage, yeah. Yeah. And Nicolas Cage is just like. 
give me the money. And then bro's just like, money, money is just. Fuck say. What is money to me? Yeah. And then he said one of the names of this great song, which was. Wait, did you get money killed? Money can't buy me love. Did you get killed? Enemy double. get killed as much as I didn't live. I would have already had my fucking Tiamat, but actually no, I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna sell my fucking Doran's Blade, I'm gonna get my Tiamat. You know what else was a great um, Nicolas Cage movie? What? Uh, um, like, that movie about Oprah Winfrey's life. Um, it, was, it was weird, everyone was like, criticizing it, like, oh, Nicolas Cage doesn't even look like Oprah Winfrey. Oh, I know that one. That's, um, yeah. oh, what's that one called? Life in the Ozone. Because, yeah, like, that, yeah, yeah, yep, that's yeah, the one. It. Stay alert. Wasn't that great a movie, but Nicolas Cage, you can Yeah, he just, he just pulled off the role he played real nicely, you know? Oh, yeah. Like, it was flawless, to be honest. Is there anything Nicolas Cage can't do? <sighs> Drugs, because he's just not that type of guy, you know? Yeah, no, he's too nice, yeah. He's just a top bloke. People misjudge him. It just kind of makes me mad sometimes. Fuck him with that. What other movies make this stage for him? What? What other movies make this stage for him? Um, Grease. Oh, yeah, 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 of course. No, I, 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 I. My destination. <sighs> Damn. Wasn't he like him and Christopher Walken in Greece? Yeah. Yeah. An enemy has been slain. That was pretty good. I think Sylvester Stallone was in it as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like as the father? Oh no, as Mel Gibson, like, oh, cameo as Mel Gibson. Mel Gibson was like, give me back my son. And then Nicholas Cage was like, you know, yes. give, give me back my face. Which was like really hip. And then, Fuck. And then Christopher Walken's just like, no! Was, <laughs> no! <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Arnold Schwarzenegger was in it as well. I forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah. I think that was like his uh, star out of cast. Is a uh, famous one-liner. Um, Don't forget the penicillin? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Yes, That's I know. It. Jeez, what a what a great film! It's just it's just a feel good movie, you know. Oh my God. A brilliant romantic comedy mm, directed by uh, like... Michael Bay. Yeah, yeah, one of his better films. Yeah. And that part of the end where um, Tom Hanks just like ma marries oh, Sylvester Stallone to um, yeah. Bruce Willis. I think that it's just that like. They don't have enough gay movies these days, you know, like, they don't, they're, they're just trying, I think they're trying to discrim discriminate against it, really. I mean, what is, what's wrong with it? Oh, like, at the end, where Nicholas Cage, I mean, no, where Bruce Willis and um, Sylvester Stallone are getting married. Getting hitched. Getting hitched. And he's just like, what do you have to say to Sylvester Stallone? And then Bruce Willis is just like, yippee kai gay, what the fuck off. Yeah, I think, was, I think that, that was, was yeah, yeah, that really, that really did it, it for just, me. That, that just made the movie for me. Yeah, Slain's an enemies. Yeah. What a great film. Yeah. It was nominated yeah, for Oscar. What movie I really didn't like? What? That, that new one called um, Avatar, where um, like, it was about pollution and um, where the Smurfs live, and it horribly oh, yeah, mutated yeah, yeah, yeah. into like, overgrown freaks. And I just... They really hurt, you know, like, to see that happen to them. And it's a documentary, of course, so... Oh, yeah, yeah, Morgan Freeman, yeah, yeah. Morgan Freeman is like... You know, giant Smurfs. Yeah. I mean, they were dangerous as well, they were doing drugs. Yeah. It's actually quite sad. Mm. But I liked it when those guys did come in and try to, like... 
like put them out of their misery by destroying everything with the large rockets and stuff like that, you know? Yeah. Come in with their, their guns, just trying to free them from this pain and this anguish that they have to, this, this burden really that they have to live through every day. It was like the leader Smurf was like played by John Travolta. Yeah. Yeah. He's been a lot of stuff recently though, hasn't yeah, he? He's just, yeah, he's just like snorting like all types of drugs. He was he was snorting marijuana, like I don't even, I'm not even sure how he managed to do that, but he was. He was he got pretty crazy, actually. Yeah, I know. And I and I don't think it was like I don't think it was faked. I think he was actually doing lines of marijuana on the set. <laughs> and that wild dog was just like killing him. Fuck yeah. Unstoppable. And on the fourth day, man Double created kill. boobs. An enemy Up until that day, me. women had flat chests. But yeah, yeah on that fourth it. day, Ace. God was like, you know what, they're missing something. You just got like a lump of skin and flesh, and he was like, I'm gonna put these here. And he was proud of his work, like, he gloated over it to his angels every day. He's like, guys, like, how good are these? Everyone's just gonna eat them up, you know? And he was right, like, it was a good thing he did for society, really, by, um, giving breasts to women. Yeah, but like, he had like a couple of prototypes there first. You know, he had to like use parts of other animals first. Yeah, so, you know, when he was creating the animals, he's like, he had some bits left over, and he's like, oh fuck, what am I gonna do with these? Boom, platypus. Exactly. And he also like, when he was supposed to make the boobs, he just like got an old turkey neck, and just decided to fill it with like, you know, just, just absolute guts. And didn't work out very well. Okay, Miss Fortune just died and made the most, like, sexual moaning sound I've ever heard. Who does that when they die? That's not normal. Another good new sound of me running. Could you come up here and actually help a little? Instead of just frolicking with your fucking feet. Fuck! Okay, well they won this round. <laughs> may take our In the words of Olivia Newton-John, they may take our lives, but they will never take our cupcakes. That was also a very good film. Cupcake to the future? Yeah, yeah. 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 Um... Yeah. Starring yeah. Tim Curry in his lead role as, um... His, la his lead role as, as, as a cupcake. Buttercup. Yeah, buttercup. Buttercup the cupcake. Yeah. And it was just, it was a musical, you know. Mm. It was a dark, dark comedy musical. Yeah, it, got a, it did get pretty dark in some areas. Mm. My destination is clear. Like, the part where you realise at the end that it was just all a cupcake's dream, because, you know, cupcakes they can't do. <laughs> For that part where like Olivia and John has to rip out undead fetus out of her vagina because it has like a life-threatening condition and it would spread to her if she didn't remove it immediately so she had to like get rid of it herself that was it got pretty oh, dark yeah, there, was, there and like they had a whole music section to that as well it was also that horrible pun of like saying time to get the bun out of the oven and I just face and just cringed yeah firstly I, I find puns to be rather Lightning. Not, not in that film. <laughs> there are moments when you can go. Mm. You know, it was a good movie though. Black what? to the future. Black to the future. Yep. Not said. Oh, that oh, was yeah. starring what? Uh, Den. 
Denzel Washington, Morgan Freeman, Samuel Jackson, Samuel Jackson Will Smith. Yeah, Will Smith. Yeah. That's really good. Yeah. Yeah, it was good. It was a good movie. Again, that was another romantic comedy, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. But also, like, show the struggles of being a white man in a black man's world. Yeah. Like, because it also, it, again, another Nicolas Cage classic. Yeah, yeah. he had like a, what was it, like a bald cap on, so I could even recognize him. Yeah. I mean, I had to like wait till the trade to the end to work out, oh, that's Nicolas Cage. Yeah. Dude, he's just following me on this game. There's no yeah. free will for yourself, it's just like, oh, okay. Yeah. Can I actually get into this? Maybe, maybe. That's how I feel. Anyways, more Nicolas Cage films. Um, My destination is I think that his work has, like, you know, slowly decreased over the years. I don't know, I think he's in his, he's in his A game at the moment. You know, he has the Guinness World Record for, like, um, most films filmed in a year. Yeah? Which was, I believe, um, yeah. It was 364, and nobody believed that he could do cowardice. more films than there were days in a year. Um, no. he, he went did. to prove them wrong, and he, he tried, he got real close though. Just, uh, two off and he would have made it. Yeah. Good thing it wasn't a leap year though, or well, that would have been a little bit awkward. Extra work. Everyone involved. Mm. I think that, like, um, they made a film about that as well with, um, who was it? Michael J. Yeah, Fox as like um, Nick, Nick, Nicholas Cage. Nicholas Cage? Okay, it was called, um, yeah. I think it was like called You Can't Cage the Beast or something like that. Uh, okay then. It was pretty, it was I alright. Yeah, I think I heard that uh, they didn't actually get Nicholas Cage to do his, the, his like, play himself in that movie because just some of the parts were too emotional for him. They didn't want to just couldn't bring back those memories, you know? So they got Michael yeah. J. Fox. Like the part where his um, cat, Buffy, you know, launched herself off a bridge. Yeah. That was pretty violent, hey. Wonder her cat was of course played by Rob Schneider. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You just play anyone though, can't he, Rob Schneider? Yeah, I think yeah, he played a bar of soap in in um two men in one shower, you know? Yeah. Good thing no one dropped him though, eh? I think um, Jim Carrey was in that movie. Jim Carrey and um Cool stuff, yeah. These are all great films. I highly recommend them to everyone watching. With that said though, do not Google two men one shower with Save Searcher. What's up? Nothing, it's bad. Right. <laughs> oh, hi. Fuck yeah, Ace the Team, that was good. I wonder why they call him Bully Bear. Oh, of course he's a bear, but he also controls electricity. Like, Bolly, Vol, Volts, I suppose. Maybe it's, he's volatile. Once again, incorrect. The correct answer was, he played volleyball for Junior Bears. No, see, that's not spelled the same at all. I think you're it's quite not, very, very wrong on that account, actually. Just like you said, Be bears honest. aren't very good at English, and they can't spell to man's standards. Um, they can't spell in general. Yeah, they have got pretty close. Probably volleyball. They had there. Yeah, no. See, again, you're wrong. You should really stop doing that. I watched. I watched um, the lore about it. Yeah. I think I've pretty much forgotten about the match and I'm just jungling right now because I have nothing better to do. Oh wait, I guess we're playing a game, aren't we? Yeah. Uh, you've just been running around following me, jungling. I've been getting all the kills. You're just kind of following me. 
tell him what this misfortune. Strength above all. Oh man, to kill still off this room. Damn it. She totally got it. Oh no, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. In the words of Gandhi, I'm not gonna die today, you bastard. Did you watch that film? I'll say I have actually. It's just pretty sad. What else is pretty sad? What? I don't know, I was asking you, like, have you got any. Any no. other stories about sad things? Well, you seen that movie, um, Marley and Steve? Marley and Steve. Oh! No! Oh, fuck, what have I got myself into? Three on one, fuck. Someone please help. Yeah, anyway, Marley and Steve, pretty good. It's about the sun. This dog named Marley, and this guy named Steve, he's like your owner. And, um, Steve's played by Beyonce. Steve is played and, uh, by Beyonce? Where is yeah. his Beyonce? They call him Sassy Steve, like. Fucking Karzik's just going at this, eh? Oh, the phone's ringing. You can hear that? Yep. Your team has destroyed a turret. An enemy has been slain. I'd, I'd like to think this has been a very successful Executed. match. Yeah, we're doing pretty well. <sighs> a little bit peeved that, um... Everyone seems to be uh, doing a lot better than I am at everything. So that's a th that's a thing. It's just like real life. <sighs> I have my orders. No, oh, come try and. Be oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> that that is not what I meant to say at all. There goes Al. <laughs> Yeah, that's uh, we had a standard uh, yeah, to that. uphold, and uh, we destroyed that. Just cut that whole part. I, I don't think I can. No, Dan, I'm not winning. Could you please leave? It's a co-op versus AI match. Legendary. Well, I'm not winning. <laughs> Fuck. I got fucking silence and I couldn't kill still. <laughs>